Hello, uh, my name is Charles and I am your TGLG Cyclist of the Month. So I just started my career with T-Tech um, just this year of March 2023 as Human Capital Business Partner supporting travel, tech, and retail. But I've been with the BPO industry as a human resource since 2015. I consider myself as a late bloomer. I only learned how to ride a bike when I was in high school, uh, probably about 16. So my friend taught me um, how to ride a bike and only took me a few hours to learn since I already knew how to ride a motorcycle. So during the pandemic, um, my brother bought a second-hand mountain bike. Um, since he's usually busy at work, uh, I had opportunity to use it uh, inside the subdivision then eventually gaining the courage to go outside an open road since then there are only few cars. Um, when I got hired in August of 2020 uh, with another BPO company, uh, that, that was before T-Tech, uh, I bought my first mountain bike and I use it as my mode of transportation going to work. Um, the mountain bike that I'm using right now is a custom built Allet & Liner hardtail frame um, which I use for both trails and the road. So back in 2020, um, it took me about 30 to 40 hours of consuming you know, YouTube contents and particularly those for compatibility parts of the bike and some bike has to need to learn. Well, um, not, not, not a favorite, but I think the most convenient is um, going to Antipolo. Um, so I lived in Pasig a few months back um, and I always go to Antipolo Church by Simulong Highway. So if not that, you would probably see me at Busa Busa Island Resort. Um, well, these places are kind of challenging because it requires you to climb you know, about 10% gradient for its thickness. If given a chance, um, I'd like to go to Zamboanga. So I recently saw a vlog from YouTube and you know, I find that place really amazing to, to roam around and you know, get here bike to different places. Uh, prior to becoming an enthusiast of um, cycling, uh, I was into powerlifting. Um, it's hard for me to say that I enjoy cycling more than powerlifting or the other way around. Uh, well, powerlifting requires a great amount of strength, um, obviously to need, you know, to, to leave a uh, tremendous amount of weight, usually heavier than your body weight. Um, while well, cycling requires endurance and good cardiovascular capacity, I could say both are great exercises. So what I like most about cycling, um, I think it's a sense of achievement that you get when you reach your destination. And it's also my way to, to compensate for my cardio um, health, since I'm not a big fan of cardio exercises, um, especially when I, do, uh, when I live in the gym. So before I really have a good resting heart rate, that's because of cycling. So there was a time when I paused cycling for months now, well, almost a year. Um, that's when my daughter uh, was born around August of 2022, that was last year. Well, the benefits that I get for you know cycling, so it improves your overall health and mental well-being. So, you know, it encourages me to go back to, to my usual activity. Um, most of the time I ride alone, um, well, during my free time, and it, it makes me appreciate um, the little things in life. So, so, to folks out there, you know, I always tell people that it's never too late to ride a bike. Um, maybe you're 30, 40, 50, and you want to have some activity. So, well, you may feel like you're, you're old doing this stuff or to find a new hobby. But you know, relating to my experience, I was already 16 when I learned how to ride a bike. And I was already at my 20, 25 when I get to ride first time in open road. Spending an hour or two for your physical activity during the weekend significantly improves your health. So just try and you know, go cycling. Reach out to your site's champion leader to learn more about the Think Green, Live Green cyclist group.